All right, we want to get a scientific perspective on this debate as well. So joining me now is Dr. Peter Hotez. He's, of course, he's the director of the Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development, really one of the nation's leading experts on all things of infectious diseases. Dr. Hotez, welcome back to Meet the Press. So, so let me start with this. How important is it to know the origin of COVID? It's absolutely essential, uh, Chuck, and here's the reason why. This is now our third major coronavirus epidemic slash pandemic of the 21st century. We had the original SARS in 2002, 2003 that arose out of southern China, affected Toronto, Ontario. Then we had uh, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome come out in 2012 and caused that terrible epidemic in South Korea in 2015. This is the third one. And nature is already telling, Mother Nature is telling us what's going to happen. There's going to be COVID-26 and COVID-32 unless we fully understand the origins of COVID-19. And uh, this is absolutely critical. And what's needed, and, and you know, what, what I'm concerned about is I, I think the intelligence community has been all over this for the last uh, year and a half. It's, mm -hmm. it's not like they've not made efforts. I, I think we've, I, I'm personally of the opinion that we've pushed intelligence about as far as we can. What we need to do is we need to do an outbreak investigation. We need a team of scientists, of epidemiologists, virologists, uh, bat ecologists in Hubei province for a six to six month year long period and fully unravel the origins of COVID-19. That includes collecting virus samples and, mm -hmm. and blood samples from uh, domestic livestock, from from bats, from laboratory animals. It means doing the same for people living in the endemic area. Remember, there are some indications that this may have actually started in Hubei province as early as the summer of, of 2019. And the South China Morning Post reported right. that the first known case was uh, in, in November. So um, there's a lot going for natural origins, but it also means interviewing the scientists too and, and, and looking at log, uh, lab notebooks. We have to do this. It, it's it's it, not only in the national interest right. of China and the United States, it's, it's in our global interest. Can it be done without China's cooperation? I guess that's like, I mean, is this one of those things where we are stuck having to figure out how to get just to just to get the epidemiologists in country to do these things? Can this be done without China's cooperation? Yeah, I don't see how. I think we have to really put a lot of pressure on China, including possible sanctions, to allow a team of outstanding epidemiologists and virologists in China with unfettered access to, to animals, to people, to samples, to the lab. And it's not going to be quick. It's going to take a long time. And by the way, it's in China's own national interest to do this right. because two now two of the major coronavirus pandemics have come out of China and and the likely and if you've ever been to that part of China we right. did a lot of work in China in the 1990s you know it's this vast mixing bowl of in Hubei province right. uh, north of Dongting Lake it met this vast mixing bowl of 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 goats and and pigs and and ducks and chickens and uh, high population density. That's yeah. why all the in, all the influenza viruses often arise out of China as well. And so we've got to figure this out. Is there uh, is there any way to sci scientifically prove that this occurred naturally without going to China? Because they've yet to. It seems like it hasn't been replicated yet with bats. Explain that. Well, I think that that's exactly what we need to do. We need to. Uh, that's why I'm talking about full access. Um, we, I think, you know, really a detailed analysis of bat populations, um, uh, all of the possible reservoir animals and, and people. And without that, it's going to be really hard to, to sort this out. It could be that some of the Chinese scientists are already doing this. I haven't seen a lot published coming out of China about right. that. But this is this is. We know how to do this, and, and we were able to unravel it for other right. major pandemics. So we could do this for COVID-19. We have the tools. Dr. Peter Otez, really appreciate you coming on and sharing your expertise with us to, to break down this story. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.